Hello everybody! <laughs> we got in a new Iris Guitars, a slope shoulder model, and Kuhn thought this guitar was so good that it could beat the Gibson J45, but I'm not gonna let him walk over the J45 that easily, so uh, I've challenged Kuhn to a guitar battle, and this is the first episode. It's on! So Kuhn, tell me what makes this guitar so good? So look at her. This is the um, Iris DF model. This is the fourth guitar in a lineup of Iris guitars. This is a young brand, hand-built, all by hand in Burlington, Vermont. Um, beautiful slope shoulder model, Sitka spruce stuff, mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, and killer sound. And I think that's the most important thing of this one. Um, should I give it a spin? Sure thing, go ahead. The sustain goes on forever on this one. How is yours? Okay, okay. Well, uh, I think we all know the Gibson J45, the classic slope shoulder model, which they invented, by the way. So uh, I think there's something to say for that. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, give her a spin as well, just as easy. That was the J45, and they are pretty good, both of them. Um, I think that the biggest difference between them is this one is a bit more crispy in tone, uh, while yours is a bit drier and gives a bit more of the, the more woody character. Um, it's both fun, and, and, and the fun thing about these two guitars is that they are very similar priced. So if you are looking for a boutique instrument, all built by hand, at a Gibson J45 price point, then this is your yours to go. Uh, bold statements, bold statements. Does yours have an LR bags? No. There you go folks, there you go. And uh, this one has a little bit of a smaller string spacing than the Iris, which I like quite a bit. And uh, I must say that the open sound of yours, it, it does sound good. It sounds okay, it sounds okay. But I like the, the compressed character of a J45. It, it just sounds good all up the neck. It sounds good everywhere. And I think for maybe a voice or a singer-songwriter, the J45 would be uh, still an excellent choice. Have you tried it finger-picking yet? I'll play some finger-picking Lee. So, so, I guess it's my turn now. It's your turn. So that's the good thing about the wider string spacing. It's very good for uh, finger picking. Both of guitars are pretty excellent, aren't they? At least one of them is. <laughs> <laughs> now, if, if, you, um, if you like the mellow tones, then uh, the Gibson is an absolute killer. But if you like the dynamics and uh, nice right string spacing, so you can play finger pickingly as well as strumming. Um, and if you like the fact that it's completely hand built, which I really like, then the Iris is uh, a very good guitar too. I'm really curious what you think. Um, is, is, is the best guitar of these two. Just leave it in the comments down below. And um, also if you want to have some more guitar battles between us, because we have a pretty strong opinion, <laughs> we uh, just, just let us know and um, yeah, we can make some more videos for you. Bye bye. bye. bye.